Hey, we're back in Sculpt VR uh, for the PlayStation, and I'm going to do a little tutorial here on using the modeling tools. So there's no printed manual. There's really not much by way of information on this uh, little app. Uh, so uh, I've been working with it for a few weeks. I've got some understanding, and I thought I'd pass on what uh, little I've learned. Um, we're going to start off with uh, just learning the, the basic tools and um, and how we can use those tools to do some pretty uh, simple models uh, and uh, quite easily. Uh, the first tool that we have is the, the shape tools is the sphere. And the sphere, you can, you can make that different sizes uh, by pressing the, uh, either the uh, uh, X button or the circle button. But um, we'll go ahead and put that on the, uh, we're going to go into layers. We're going to make sure that that second is, a, is smooth so that when we make this uh, shape, uh, we'll have a smooth uh, circle, sphere. Uh, we also have, I'm going to use different colors here. Uh, we'll do a red, um, let's do a red cube here. And um, now on, we can also do with a cube, we can also do a, a rectangle. And the rectangle is done by selecting the size that you want and then putting it down and then holding the trigger and just pulling it out uh, to whatever shape you want. This is great for doing basic um, platforms and so on. So we have our, uh, our uh, cube and our rectangle. We also have this, the little, I'm not going to get into that right now. Let's pick another color. We'll go blue and we'll do cylinders. You've got the, um, the basic uh, cylinder here. Let's make that a little smaller. Um, that's. Uh, we also have the um, a cylinder that is open, a pipe, I guess you could call it. And then we also have the rings, and we can make those rings any size we want. So now we have rings. So those are the sh basic shapes. Then we have finally down here, and we'll make this, uh, let's see, purple, I guess. And we have the little um, cone shape uh, that we can use. Uh, next to the cone is the painting tool that you can use with the cone, and that gives you a different size, basically a different size brush, and you can make that, again, you can size that down and uh, color with that. And then we get down to the, uh, the lighting, moon, and sun. We'll get into that later. So those are your basic modeling tools. Let's go back up here uh, to the uh, sphere. And you can see we've got the um, smoothing brush, bulge and deflate brush, and the paintbrush. Uh, now the paintbrush, uh, let's go ahead and pick a yellow here. You can make that paintbrush different sizes. Uh, let's go with a smaller brush here. And we've got got the yellow. When you paint with this paintbrush, it covers anything that's underneath it. As you can see there, we've got uh, purple, we've got red, we've got yellow, and it covers whatever is underneath there. Um, if we go to the um, smoothing brush, you'll see that it says colors only. That means if you press that trigger, that's now well, the upper right one, you'll get this um, and it's going to blend the colors and let's I'll show you here we got red and yellow and purple and if I use this brush you can see that it will blend those colors with other colors and with the background you can get some really nice effects using that uh, blending of colors as you can see here if you blend too much, you'll just um, erase them. But uh, that's that's the the color blend, and then we also have um, the colors uh, and uh, shapes. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get rid of this whole exercise here. We've got a scene, new, ready, yes, and we've got a brand new thing here. So let's go into the shape again. We'll do a sphere. We'll do the uh, we'll do a light. Well, let's do a, a more of a of a skin color, and we'll do uh, we'll do a simple face. Uh, let's go into layers, and click on mirror that mirror mode, 
adjust it and um, we'll uh, go ahead and put this circle the sphere right in the middle and then we'll just kind of bring it down and you can see that we've got the basic uh, shape here uh, for a face now with the modeling tool with the sphere uh, and with any of the others uh, you can either add or take away um, by adding uh, let's just use this to show you how you can add a nose to this face so let's go ahead and put that about halfway down and bring that out and we've got a we've got a little basic nose here. All right, you can see here we can add a little bit more of a bridge there, and whatever we do on one side is is reflected on the other side since we are kind of in this this mirror mode. So and we've got a little bit of a nose there. Um, and we can go into now into the smoothing brush. We can bring that smoothing brush down and we can just, by using that smoothing brush, we can blend that nose in and, and it looks you know, it looks pretty good. It looks like a nose. Now you can also, uh, with that sm smoothing brush, um, well, we're going to go back in here, sphere. Let's go ahead and do the, uh, uh, the sculpting and this carving and we'll switch that over to this tool and we're going to create some eye sockets here and now you can see we've got some eye sockets and we're going to go back in and use that smoothing tool to smooth out those eye sockets and you can see we've got some basic eye sockets here okay now uh, a face will normally have eye eyebrows and a little there'd be a little bit of a protruding uh, so let's we can do that a couple of ways and one way is to just grab the uh, sphere again and let's make that much much smaller let's bring this a little bit closer so we can see and let's go ahead and just put in some eyebrows right over those eyes okay and sculpt that a little bit now we want to go now into the smoothing tool, grab that smoothing tool and run that over those eyebrows and you can see the more that you use it the more that all those eyebrows blend in. And we have now um, basic eyebrows over the eyes and that works pretty well. Now we also want to, um, let's put a chin in there so we'll go back here and we can go ahead and put in um, the makings of a chin and s smooth that out. But there's another way of doing that uh, instead of adding is to um, use the uh, bulge and deflate brush. Now one part of this will bulge or bring uh, a part of your modeling clay out and another one will deflate it or, or force it in. So we're going to use the part that um, brings it out and we're just going to kind of press that on there and you can see that it is over time it is bringing out that area that we want to use as a chin and you can see that it's starting to bring that out here we'll just keep and again whatever it does on one side does on the other so we only have to work on one side and we've got ourselves a chin you can see there on the side there that's kind of sticking out like a chin. Um, we also have uh, the cheekbones and we can add those cheekbones over here like so and then we, if we want to deflate we go into the alternate there and we can just put a little bit of you know, cheeks there all right and so now you can see how using the deflate and the and the bulge you can uh, get some different effects without even having to uh, add the extra uh, clay I guess you would call it uh, so anyway we can just keep doing that um, we want to go in and um, 
maybe put a little bit of deflating under the under the lip there um, bulge it again out here to bring out the the chin some more and then we go back into the smoothing brush and all of this will get smoothed over very nicely okay um, this is just a very simple example if you want to put some eyes in you can uh, just again go back to the sphere uh, put your eyeball in and um, And we can go ahead and add a little bit of and you can see we've got a little bit of a eyelid here that we can go ahead and again go back in with our tool here and just kind of smooth that out. This is very quick. Uh, and just to show you the, the use of the tool. But there's a there's a face. It's not particularly not a particularly handsome face, but uh, again you can keep going back and reworking that. You can put in a put in a lip here. Okay. Again, I'm working real quick here, but bring that down. And let's put some ears in. again using the and we got a basic we've got a basic face here uh, very very quickly and you can continue to add to that uh, any way you want but I think we've covered most of these the tools you've got the the basic shapes the sphere the um, cube or rectangle the different kinds of uh, cylinders and the um, cone We've got the smoothing brush, we've got the bulge and deflate brush, and we've got the paint brush. Uh, and so I think we've covered pretty much everything in terms of the modeling tools. Um, and uh, there's additional things, of course, that we can talk about. But um, I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, leave them on the, uh, on the YouTube um, page there and uh, I'll try to answer them. Uh, all right. Um, until